Hey everybody, it's Ozima. Um, this is Faster Than Light. It's a game that came out today, um, actually. Uh, I, I saw it streamed on Vine Sauce Video, one of my favorite uh, live streams for video games. And uh, it looked really fun, so I just went ahead and bought it, and I thought, hey, you know what? New game, why don't I record it? So, it's basically a strategy game that's based around managing a ship. And, um going through space. You know, I didn't actually know much about the story. Maybe it says something. Uh, I guess not. Um, I played one game last night, and I got pretty far, but uh, I'm still pretty new at this, so cause you'll have to excuse me if I'm not that great at it. Anyway, you start out with three people, and this is your standard ship. Let's call it the uh, um, SS... SS Poop Beast. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much all you can customize. I mean, you can change their names, but this is your ship. This is what you get. And I'm gonna play on normal because, I mean, I'm playing on easy. Come on. No. I'm not doing that. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Yeah, you gotta upgrade your ship. So, um, it, it's a randomly generated game. So every time you play it, it's gonna be different. Oh, look, a distress signal. Let's just go to the distress signal right away. And I should probably put people in systems. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. We're alone in a cave. Uh, let's bring it back. Oh no! This is terrible, this is a terrible start. He killed one of my crew. Now I only have two people manning this huge ship. Well, I gotta keep... I gotta keep, uh, Starger on the helm. And I'll put Olafsson on the shields. Olafsson. Well, that was a terrible distress signal. Usually distress signals have you helping someone and then you get some sort of reward. In this case, I got someone killed. You arrived on a cryptic communications channel over here, half their conversation. Enemy ship intact. Let's do it. I'm not properly equipped. Well, yeah, I'm kind of a two person ship. So, these blue highlighted areas are nebulae. And, um,. It, they have special effects while you're in them, but uh, it slows down the pursuit of the rebel ships, which you can't really see yet, but you'll see in a little bit. Let's just go ahead and go down here. Every time I move, it takes away a piece of my fuel. A piece? I'm not actually sure what kind of fuel it is. It looks like it's an atom. Um, on completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on our way. This is a Mantis Scout. Um, let's... Well, we can't really pay 22 scrap because we don't have 22 scrap. So, scrap is basically the type of currency in this game. So let's reject that, and now we're going to have to fight them. So I'm going to pause the game. Uh, you can see your weapon systems down here, and... This is really important, um, but each bar is, represents a unit of power. And everything on your ship requires a certain amount of power to work. Um, so right now I have three powers three power maximum for weapons, which is enough for both. So, I'm going to activate both, and they're going to start charging. I'm going to move all of us onto the, all of us onto the uh, weapon systems so that they'll charge a little bit faster. So, now that they're charging, I can set target the other ship. I'm going to target the ship's weapon systems, because I don't like getting hit. Alrighty, we, got, we took out their weapon systems already, because it's red. But now I have a fire on board, so I'm going to move all of Olaf's in to take out that fire. And then fire missile at their shields. Okay, that took out their shields, and now they're scared. We'll offer you everything that, we, that they have. Two missiles, one drone part, eleven scrap. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'm not a bloodthirsty dude. I don't want to fight any longer than I have to, honestly. Unless I'm really desperate, but I'm not. So now Olafson's taking a little bit of damage, but I'm gonna move into the sick bay and it automatically heals him. 
As you can see he's already at full health again. Put him back on shields. And uh, we're ready to jump. I can also turn off my weapon systems and dedicate it to engine again. I'm going to do that. Um, oh, here we go. See, as you can see, every time I jump now, uh, the rebel ships are going to advance from the left. And that's going to start covering up some of these jump points. Which means that if I jump to them, um, well, actually, after a certain point, you can't jump to them. And, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll just see as I play. Once you arrive, the screen lights up with warnings. Your pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they try to shut down our engines. Oh boy. Uh oh. They have a drone. That's an attack drone, which will constantly attack my ship. Um. Let's turn on my weapon systems. And, uh, we'll take out their drone control. Let's move. Starter. Or not, Olofsson. Sorry, Olofsson. I didn't mean to mistake your name, it's just you guys were named some pretty ridiculous stuff. My hull's been breached a little bit over here. Okay, I actually took out their, uh, their control for their droids. But, uh, now my oxygen's gonna start to leak out of this breach if I don't patch it up. So, I'm gonna open this door so that there's extra oxygen and they're going into that room. So it also doesn't suffocate. I'm gonna tell them to go patch that up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna attack the weapon systems again. The good thing about missiles is that they breach, uh, shields. How you doing, Olafson? Let's keep the pressure on the drone systems, because I don't want them getting that back up. Come on. There we go, perfect. Now it's gonna take one more hit, so I'm not gonna waste a missile on this. But I'm gonna attack the shields. Strategy games, I love. Strategy is my thing. It's just not all strategy games are really good for streaming, but I felt that this was this was okay. Pirate ship destroyed. Your engines come online again. Salvage what you can from the debris. Five fuel, nineteen scrap. Okay, I'm gonna go to my ship and see if I can do anything about improving my. Uh, my situation here. Got 40 scrap, I can spend it on this kind of stuff. Usually what I do is I take sensors first so I can see the other people in the ship. I should probably get some more power too. Can I get more power? No, I need five more scrap. Alright, I'm gonna go zigzag down here. Nearby planet shows habitation of great beauty. Uh, that's not really important. Sometimes nothing really happens. There's a store here, but I don't really have much scrap, so let's go ahead and go up here. Asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while ready for the f faster than light drive to recharge. Let's explore. Get some fuel. Free stuff, I'll take it. I can trade my missiles for scrap here. I have a missile launcher though, and that's pretty useful, so I'm gonna keep that. As you can see, the rebel fleet is advancing. All these places are very dangerous to go to. These ones too. So, we're gonna avoid that for now. We're gonna head towards the exit. Basically every sector has one exit point that you can go to. Sorry sir, this is nothing personal, but we're under orders. Oh man, rebel ship doing out here. Well, now you can see that I can. Now you can see that I can see them, so I can actually see their crew working. Um, it might make it useful to me, so I know what they're trying to focus on, as well as you know, letting me know where I should launch my attack. Looks like they're moving to weapon systems. So, I usually prioritize weapon systems, just because you know I don't like being attacked. Oh man, they got a cutting laser. Well, not anymore. So let's launch a missile at their shields too and keep those down. Those are just my doors, so I'm not gonna really worry about it very much. Okay, shields are partially damaged. So let's just keep pressure on that, I guess. This 
trying to escape. Well, I don't want them to escape. Oh, they're trying to surrender now. Yeah, my ship is surprisingly well equipped for two crew. Um, they're offering scrap and missiles. That's not a very good offer. Plus, this is a rebel ship. That's like my main enemy right now, so... I'm gonna go ahead and blow them up. Launch a missile at their engines. To well, actually, I can launch it at their helm. No, I'll launch it at their engines. I don't want them jumping. Oh, well, that got them. I didn't get much more from that than I would have if I took the offer, actually. Well, can't really do anything about it now. So I'm gonna send uh, Olafson to repair the doors really quick. Um, I'm not really sure what that does, honestly, because... I guess it just makes it easier for the enemy to go through them if they jump to the ship, or teleport to the ship. Okay, you healed up to Olafson. You're my only real crew, besides, you know, my helmsman. I wish I could find more crew. And there's a store right here. The question is, do I want to get power or do I want to buy something here? Uh, oh, pike beam. And a heavy ion cannon. Man. I don't really have anything that I can afford to sell. I don't have much scrap at all, actually. I guess I'll just get power. So now that I have one more extra unit of power, I can drop it in the engine, which will help me, uh, help me dodge in battle. Let's go here, I can afford to go here, since the rebel fleet isn't quite where I need to be at yet. It's a slaver. Let's attack the slaver and see if we can get a new crewman. Let's see, it looks like they're all... Well, actually, he's moving shields, so... Let's take out shields. There's just two people in that ship. It's kind of interesting. Taking out my med bay. I don't like that. As you can see, my missile does fully charge pretty fast, but I don't like using it unless I have to because they are limited. And now they're trying to escape. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. I'll accept that. So now I got a alien crew member. Let's actually look at that. It's a mantis named Lana. Double damage in combat. Half uh, 1.2 times move speed. Half repair speed. So it's not really good for using this person to repair systems, but it is good for melee combat if they ever get on the ship. So I'll put them on weapon systems. I'll get Olafson to repair this. That's right, slavers. It's bad news to be slaving out people. Space slaving out people. Don't do that. I have liberated the slave. Was there only one? I wish I could get more than one. Because cause three people on a crew isn't that great either. My last crew was like six people. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'll keep you on weapon systems. Let's head towards the exit of this sector. You arrived at a long range beacon. When the faster than light drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Debris is scattered. Bounces off your ship. There's a weapon. Ooh, a Hermes missile. So I got an Artemis and a Hermes missile. Let's check out my ship. Alright. Standard requires three power. Ugh. Plus it uses a missile. That's rough. That's rough. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to start upgrading my, uh, my weapon system so I can put more max power to it, because right now I'm capped. Uh... I don't really have much scrap for that, though. I might just end up selling the Hermes missile. Oh well. So now, when I'm on the exit point, I just click on Next Sector in the jump map. And it uh, lets you pick which sector you want to go to. And go to the Angie controlled sector or the Zoltan controlled sector. I actually like the Angie more. So let's go there. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, follow me next time as I go through the Angie sector. Let's take a look. Ooh, looks so hydrogeny.